Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to do another hair dyeing vlog today. I meant to dye it earlier this morning, but like the weather's just been crummy. And so I figured, well, I'll just dye it later tonight because I gotta wash my hair anyway because my hair is dirty. And I understand that this isn't like a great representation of how my hair looks like for a before. I especially like to use like the natural lighting. And here I've got my box light going on and I'm trying not to have it be too intense and <laughs> severe. <laughs> Um, of light so there's not like a great shadow like cast on my face. Anyways, you guys probably don't care. But tonight I'm going to be dyeing my hair with Clairol Nice and Easy 8R in Medium Reddish Blonde. And if you look here, like it's like literally like the same color as my hair. So I am hopeful that it'll just lift my roots and then just put an even color all the way around. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. I'm really excited to see how this will turn out. Um, and it was relatively inexpensive. I want to say like maybe like $6 a box, which is not bad at all. And, um, yeah, so I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, so let's dive in. This is a Clairol Nice and Easy 8R medium reddish blonde. And what comes in this box is the instructions. And then on top of that is the number one. That is the color cream. This is the dye. As always, I check to make sure that I am getting the dye that... The box says I'm getting, I, I've told you guys the horror stories that I have of the stories I've heard of people who will swap the dyes from the boxes, but this came sealed. This was glued shut. So that's nice. So then you put the dye in with the developer and you mix it together. This makes 4.4 fluid ounces of product because this is 2.2 and this is 2.2 as it states back here, if you're wondering. 2.2 fluid ounces of developer as well as 2.2 fluid ounces of the color cream, which is the dye. Um, here are some gloves. Of course, the instructions, like I mentioned, I leave it in for however long it stays. I usually leave it in for 25 to 30 minutes. And then you can use this color seal conditioner to um, after you're done rinsing it out. And it comes with instructions as well. So that's everything. So here is how it turned out. Um, since I didn't walk you through the dyeing process, I thought I would talk to you about what I did. So I bought two boxes of dye to cover all of my hair. That made a total of 8.8 .8 fluid ounces of product. When I mix the bottles, I mix them both together at the same time. I don't know if, if there's a difference in the way it develops. If I were to mix one, put that on my hair, and then mix another bottle and put it on my hair. I've just, I don't know, I just mix them both at the same time. Um, and then I always do my hairline first because my worry, my paranoia is that I will miss a part of my hairline and then there will be like a section here that like has no dye. So I always do my hairline first and then I do my scalp first and then I work it into um, my ends. I also will put a bag over my hair while it's developing um, just so that I can keep the product saturated as well as um, I'll like smash it against my head to um, let the heat from my head kind of um, help activate the process, the developing process, if it even does help activate the developing process. Like I feel like some dyes it does and some, some dyes it doesn't. Um, and then I left it on my hair for, I wanna say 25 to 30 minutes. I can't recall. And then I rinsed it out. I then shampooed my hair um, I always shampoo my hair afterwards just to like break up anything that could be like still sitting in my hair, uh, shampooed it. And then I used the, um, what did they call it? The, the, the conditioner that they provided in the box. And this is how it turned out. Okay. So I want to give you guys my thoughts on this. I think this is an amazing, amazing, amazing color especially because it was such an amazing application. It spread so evenly, like it was just wonderful. The scent was, it was a floral scent. Um, at times it was a little pungent. It was a little like made my eyes water, especially when I was trying to get down, you know, the product down into my ends. Um, but I think this is an amazing color for those who want to dip their toe into the red dyes. And but are worried that it will be too vibrant, too loud, too intense of a color. This is amazing. This is like the picture perfect, natural ginger color. And that's what I admire a lot about it. 
And this reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Red Penny, which I'm not sure if that's even, um, like if it's even in production anymore, the L'Oreal Preference Red Penny. I loved that color. Um, I would say this is, because when people would ask me, what's a good red to like start my red hair journey on? I would always say L'Oreal Preference Red Penny. It's a very natural hair, uh, natural ginger hair color. And I'll say the same with this. I would say this is my number two. This is a very natural red hair color. And that's what I love about it is it's very just pretty, pretty and it's a uh, soft, it looks nice. Like it's a very great, like I, I can't sing its praises enough. Like this is a really good natural red hair color. Um, so if you have any questions or any comments, let me know down below. But for those who know me and those who have been following me on my red hair dye journey, this is not vibrant enough for me. So I will be going over it with a semi-permanent. Um, I already have one in mind, so be on the lookout. Follow me on Instagram at the type woman and where I will catch you there. But um, but like I said, great, wonderful, amazing. Let's see like if I can get more of a natural light on it. It's an overcast day, so it's kind of like, you know, it's just been overcast in general, so it's kind of a bummer. But so here's more of like the natural light. I mean, as natural as you can get with overcast. Um, It did, my roots did show up a little bit different. So like, I don't know if you can notice how it's just like a little more, like it's warmer here where I have dyed my hair and then it's like a little cooler up here on my roots where, um, where it was virgin hair. So it doesn't seem to pull as red on the virgin hair for me. Um, everyone's virgin hair is different, you know, obviously. So, but I do like it. It's just a really great color. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, again, let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm at. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Catch ya. Bye.